डियरेस्ट हार्ट वन ऑफ आर फंडामेंटल नीड्स एज ह्यूमन बींग्स इज टू बी डीपली हियर्ड एक्नोलेज एंड अंडरस्टूड बट सो मैनी ऑफ अस लुक आउटसाइड ऑफ आर सेल्फ टू फुलफिल दिस नीड we chase and climb until we realize that no quick fixes can heal what must be nurture on the inside you have this message as a notice that your inner world needs tending to right now the only way to truly understand your magnificence is by going on an inward journey you will always be rewarded for this deep healing on the other side of the work is pure self compassion joy love forgiveness and ultimate inner peace and when you do the inner work you move past fears addictions limitations depressions loneliness and low vibration feelings of unworthiness although inner work is often the hardest things you will experience and it reaps tremendous rewards so like a true alchemist you are carving out a brave new path for your growth and your future is paved with new expensive beginnings as you heal your past so healing does not happen overnight recognize that this process is never over the path of the spiritual seeker is ever unfolding and forever more so this is the journey of your soul that carries over into lifetimes so release the need to have it all figure out and just dive into life like a curious child full of excitement and wonder that rose quartz is the crystal of self love which can be called upon times of great inner work and healing so rose quartz is responsible for the heart chakra connecting you to infinite wisdom and soul growth it purifies and opens the heart at all levels to promote love and self so dear souls know that someone recorded your voice when you were talking to them but now they are regretting the way they treated you in the past it seems like you have just ended a relationship with this person or taken a stand in the relationship so you told them that respect and commitment is what you deserve and they can't take you for a ride anymore so you have been assertive and stubborn and your person feels like this time they have lost you forever in the past you used to share flirtatious conversations and they used to love your attention but over time you felt this person was not emotionally invested in you so pull back your energies so it was difficult for you to but somehow you gained the confidence to move on so now this huge change in your attitude towards them has made this person realize your value and importance in their life so they are grieving and crying over spilled milk and they could also be ashamed or guilty 
of their past behavior they are having sleepless nights and might even be slipping into depression so they are also obsessed with you and will make an attempt to reach out but this could be the presence of a toxic energy in this person's life or their own toxic and negative thoughts keep them in a low vibrational zone so they are unable to move on from you regard regret guilt shame and haunt and them all night when they think of you so also they are passionately attracted towards you and they will reach out to you in the next 6 days to 6 weeks so dear souls know that there is a new kind of an energy brewing up for you know that some kind of an idea that has come up which does has potential and for some know that this idea will either get some push or will brew up even further at some get together or party of sorts the need will arise soon this is a lot to do with that logic and you only look for food separately when you are very hungry so maybe an episode might trigger this and that episode will not be very comfortable but it will push your limits so you will also need to collaborate with someone on this this idea is an inspiration which will also take you closer to your twin flame union So I don't know if you are aware of this energy or person but you both share the same kind of a creator energy and the energy that I described above So both of you share the same thing in your life and you are ruled by creator energy you both could be in the same kind of a creative profession I'm picking hints which I'm sharing here. I also see that you both have a common tattoo or a piece of art that is common between both of you. So dear souls, know that wedding is hard and frustrating, but there is a very divine reason for the wait right now. Be patient with others and allow situations to unfold naturally. so lesson is being learned either by you or another and there is something fated happening which you are not mean to see at the moment so hands up if you are someone who likes to know what is next and but when we feel blindfolded it is because spirit wants to surprise us So remember what you ask the universe to help with remember what you are aligned with and now is your time to trust and let things happen So it may not be happening the way you want it to but that is the lesson in surrender and letting go of control So give it a few days and I bet you start to feel better and possibly even see an improvement in the situation. So as soon as you detach and stop focusing so much things will begin to happen 
Remember one of the key steps to manifesting is detaching after you have set your intentions. So when working with the law of attraction letting go is crucial since this means you have faith. So dear someone know that Is there a part of you that could love me still because the hell you left me on has became my one and only home since you have been gone With grass overgrow and vines covering crackled walls I have been packing back and forth cracking the old floorboards you never fixed so ruminating over the last words we spoke do you think we will ever speak again even in the plainest sense god i hope so i almost called you yesterday but then i remember that you are not mine and you never were and you are doing perfectly fine without me running your life do you believe there is an invisible string tethering us together or did you take the scissors and move on to another i never cut out ties completely we have too much ancient history do you believe in fate i used to and when i thought about us the way we dance around it so there was an unspoken electricity every time we touch could you feel it or was that all in my head too do you believe in soulmates and i don't not anymore not since and you have left me here to rot type yes if you have faith and trust in universe